Good morning. Good morning, guys. Okay, we're here, the Sacramento TV station. That was our big surprise. We continue being invited to a few different TV stations to bring to the world the how-to about Pokemon Go. And we've only slept three hours, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully you guys don't hate us for being a little too tired, but we're just excited to share the game with the rest of the world. starts to go up. We have Juan and Nick, and you guys are YouTubers that came up with the channel after the game was launched, already had 4 million views. So let everyone know, what is your YouTube channel one more time? And um, you're on there all the time answering questions. We, are. we answer as many questions as possible, and if you guys need anything answered, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments in the video section. Okay, what is it called? And you see it there, T-R-N-R-T-I-P-S. So, that was our second TV appearance since this game has been released, and that was kind of a crazy experience. It was really crazy. It's not something we even experienced when we did the TV spot in LA, and all the people that were there working were so humble and so nice, helping us out in every way, and that's the reason why I love Northern California. Yep, so I don't know if we said this yet, but we're here in Sacramento, the capital of California. We drove all night, we slept three hours, we went straight to the TV station, and they brought us here to teach them how to play Pokemon Go, live on TV. Unfortunately, the servers were down the entire time, time we were there. Yeah. So we just shared some tips on TV, and if you guys live up here in the Bay or Northern California and you saw it, leave a comment and let us know how we did. Now we are going to take a nap and try to recover so that we can take you on a small little journey around Northern California. So hopefully we'll run into some cool poker spots and some gyms to take over. Let's I'll see you guys. Sleep. I'm tired. hour nap later and we're here at the Capitol building in Sacramento, California. This place is a beautiful landmark that was made official in 1974. And it's surrounded by Pokestops, as I'm sure the capital of your state or country is. So if you want to get some items, find some eggs, and maybe learn a little bit of history, go check it out. So we found a Pokestop, which is a map of Capitol State Park. The greatest thing about this is just like we were mentioning before, you should learn a little bit of history of your own state. And we just found out that this lot is actually a 40 acres lot and it's got a species of plant from every nation in the world here. Maybe there's a Pokemon from every country in the world here. Let's hope. Okay guys, something super exciting just happened. There's a pincer nearby and we're still seeing the three footprint glitch. So, we're gonna track it down blind. So we're trying to find this pincer. We've been walking around, the footsteps aren't changing, but it has moved up the list. However, we did come up with a snag, and I did have the pincer up on my nearby list, but it's disappeared. It's still on mine, and it's number two, so we're gonna keep looking and see what happens. So, a Cubone just appeared on my map, and it's actually lower than the pincer in the nearby list, so I'm not really sure what that means. I guess this three footprints glitch extends beyond just the footprints, and the Pokemon are not in order anymore, so I guess all we can do is forget about it hope that we come across the Pokemon that we actually want to see. We just have to let this one go. Okay, so we noticed that today all you guys are asking about the glitches within the game and the footprint issue. So we understand that it is an issue and I know that Niantic and Pokemon are working to make sure that this, this glitch is fixed as soon as possible. So all we can do is wait. We're super excited to share with you guys the first discounts because of Pokemon Go that we come across. We're right here at this ice cream, I don't know, ice cream spot. And uh, looks like they're giving a discount based on your team. Valor is getting 15%. Team Instinct is only 5%, but you know what? I don't eat ice cream anyway. So we've got the Tower Bridge behind us, which is the first vertical lift bridge in California. And it's currently controlled by the red team. And since we're still salty about that ice cream discount, we're gonna team up and take it down. That's right. I'm in, why does this always happen? Team That's Mystic, it. late to the battle again. I'm coming, I'm trying to catch up. Well guys, it looks like Nick is taking it on by himself. It's my 
charge attack. Hold. I'm saying what is it? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not. It's not telling me. I don't know what my attacks are. Cross poison. No wonder. All right, that's the one down. But super effective. Evolution battle. That is so cool. That's not you, but someone's helping me. Mystic over here, but you get another try. I'm gonna heal up and we'll do this again. So I messed up on the first time. I don't know why I didn't. I wasn't able to go into the gym, but I'm gonna go in first to see if maybe that would work. We'll see. You're in. I'm coming. I don't know if you guys have seen a scyther, but this guy is super quick. Team Mystic, I'm, I'm disappointing you guys, but at least we won. We did it. It's quick. It's yellow. I need to take this. I need to take this from Team Instinct. It's gotta be quick because there's a bunch of people around. No. Oh, really? Too late. Rick got it? Wow. You Super know what's really cool. unfortunate is that there's so many people around here that anyone could just sit here and wait till the gym goes neutral and take it before anyone else has a chance. It's gotta be quick. Right behind us, we've got probably one of the most interesting folk stops that we've come across. Right here, we're on Johnny Cash Trail. The city of Folsom dedicated this trail to Johnny Cash, who put him on the map by recording his most famous album at Folsom Prison. So I'm wearing my all black in honor of Johnny Cash today, and we're going to see what kind of items we get. Okay, so that's the end of our Sacramento trip. And we had an amazing time with my beautiful parents who opened their doors and welcomed us in. And thank you guys so much for having us. Drive safe. See you soon. I love you guys. Come, Come back soon. Of course. Make sure you level up your trainer. Come back soon, Nick. Thank you so much. We for love you guys. Drive safe. Thank you for the level up. Anytime, mijo. Level up your trainer. Let keep me updated with how your Pokemon is doing. And if you ever have any questions, make sure to comment at the bottom of the video, and we'll answer them in our next clip. When you're on a road trip, you're gonna want to pull your phone out and check for Pokemon at every gas station or rest stop that you stop at. Nick had explained already in a previous episode, more Pokemon will spawn anywhere where there's a lot of cellular activity. Places like gas stations, rest stops, are gonna be a gold mine because that's where everyone stops. So we're gonna test the theory out and pull out the game and check it out. Let's see. You just leveled up. You opened the game and leveled up. <laughs> I got two. I got two spawns, a Spearow and a Zubat. Okay, that means I should be getting a Zubat. 